Planned Parenthood is fighting back. It's holding more than 50 pink out rallies in 20 states to maintain support for its programs. This includes lighting up bridges and buildings. Joining us now is Father Stephen Imbarato of Priests for Life, and he hosts Defending Life on EWTN on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Welcome to the program. Oh, it's great to be with you, Lauren. I am thrilled that you're here, especially on this Pink Out Day. You are very involved in the pro-life movement, but have such a fascinating story of what drew you to it. Please tell us about that. My pro-life story goes back to really the mid-70s, a few years after Roe versus Wade legalized abortion in this country. I was away from the sacraments, away from the church, uh, living with who I call my Eve, all right, my Eve, my me being Adam, your to girlfriend, my Eve, mm -hmm. right? And um, she got pregnant, and I did as many many men do. Uh, I said I'll support you in whatever decision you make, but then I kind of gave her all the reasons why it'd be best to have the abortion. Wow. She had the abortion. Thank God we came to the realization of what we did uh, pretty quickly, her quicker than me, and we went to confession, got some counseling, went back to the sacraments for a little while, but then fell into the same lifestyle. A uh, parted company, and it was decades later, decades later that I looked her up while I was in the seminary, actually, uh, having come to the realization that as much as I repented of uh, the, the abortion that I really never repented or apologized to her for letting her down, for wounding her. And upon looking her up and having lunch with her, I then she told me that indeed it was twins that were aborted oh, decades goodness. before. So I have two babies in heaven, Thomas oh. and Mary, who are a constant encouragement to uh, for me to continue to do pro-life work until we end this scourge of pre-born child. And children. so you come here to Washington and you uh, pray at the Planned Parenthood National Headquarters, which is very close to our studio, and you are involved in, in other pro-life activities. What are Oh, they? All, all over the country, yes. Actually, they call me the protest priest <laughs> uh, because I like to do my pro-life work uh, peacefully and prayerfully, but in, in front of these killing centers, in front of these abortion mills, that I call modern-day Calvaries, where the most innocent blood of our culture is being shed because of the sins of the culture, just indeed as Christ shed his innocent blood because of the, the sins, our sins. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually started coming to D.C. in the fall of 2015 when the Planned Parenthood over here was just under construction. And we did our best through peaceful and prayerful presence. And I think it's important to say peaceful. Oh, always peaceful. Exactly right. Always peaceful. That's the only way you're going to offset the violence that is abortion. I mean, Planned Parenthood is perpetrating violence. This is, this is the, 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 the reality that they accuse us of being the violent ones. But indeed, that's projection on their part. So I imagine that your faith story, that your healing has been possible now because of your involvement in the church. And I just, I thank you so much, and in the pro-life movement, thank you so much for joining us and for telling us your story. Oh, my pleasure. Father Stephen Imbarato of Priests for Life.